Set up the bars at a slant. This bike's left pedal at seven or eight o'clock. This bike's left pedal at 10 or 11 o'clock to fit between that tire and frame. Start the bungee cord on the bike rack, wrap it around the tube of the first bike, then around the tube of the second bike and back around to the same starting point. Then the last bike's left pedal at around seven o'clock. It's easy to load, it's compact and it's lightweight. There are several more premium options available but they're beyond my needs. And the best part of this is probably that I got it for only 50 bucks. Continue on Greenback Lane for one mile. I'm going 70 miles per hour right now. It seems pretty stable. We're stable enough. Each bike is secured onto the rack at three places. The first two are at the wheels and the third is at the frame. Each tray has a 10 millimeter nut that you can loosen and slide the tray left or right, as well as a Velcro strap. And at the frame, there's a rubber piece and a regular strap and a buckle. And then the strap only tightens or loosens uh, when you have the buckle pressed down. You have to figure out how exactly you're going to get the bikes on without the pedals and handlebars hitting each other. And that explains the beginning of this video. Not only can you adjust the trays, but there are three angles you can set this bar at for the frame to attach. This lock right here is compatible with the original, with the original pin here. 